Vortex is a very creative tool for sample manipulation. It was created by Igor Shalov, a very talented person within the reactor community. He might be modest, but this guy is really talented. As a matter of fact, you should check out some of his other work in the reactor user library on the Native Instruments website such as Flakes, Color Strip, and Circles. Many of his ensembles were in the top 50 hot ensembles for quite some time. His Flakes ensemble blew my mind. I used it quite a bit on several remixes that I've done. So let's move on to discussing Vortex and the strength of its features that lie within the ensemble. I'll just do a brief rundown of its features to indicate what my workflow consists of while using it and what creative possibilities exist from using Vortex as a whole. For more detailed information about Vortex, please refer to the Vortex manual or further documentation or tutorials available on TwistedTools.com. Vortex consists of six different tracks. Each track hosts its own sampler and has the following 11 parameters available for creative manipulation. You can modulate or assign any of the 11 parameters to any of the six tracks by simply left clicking and dragging and right clicking and dragging to adjust the amount of modulation that will be applied. You also have a variety of copy and paste functions, BPM detection, randomization, and clear functions available as well. The different color schemes refer to specific sources for modulation. White refers to off, green refers to the gate parameters, orange refers to the roll parameters, Purple refers to anything assigned to modulation source A. Green refers to anything assigned to modulation source B. Continuing to follow the color scheme also allows for LFO A and B modulation as well. You have eight different scenes that can be arranged in any order you like. You can also select a different length that each scene cycles through as well. So this is where the creative power of this ensemble begins. The ability to sequence six different samples with different start times, pitches, granular effects, and different lengths will open the door to hidden relationships and grooves within each and all samples. For example, I was able to transform the following 90 beats per minute hip hop loop from the sample map into a more percussive tribal drum rhythm. If you want to get the most out of this ensemble, Listen to each and every sample within the map. Gain a basic understanding of each sample's rhythmic pattern. This can help you to conceptualize where you can possibly take the sample into uncharted territory. Or you can simply immerse yourself into complete chaos while discovering which samples work together without applying any rules. There is no right or wrong approach as to which method works best. But I must place an emphasis on the creative possibilities you will find while using up to six different samples within one snapshot. By doing so, you will find hidden relationships between the samples as I've mentioned before. You can consider it as your own secret cinema of hidden samples and new sounds captured right before your eyes. Once you begin to explore new grooves within existing grooves, you may find hidden melodies within strange regions of looping segments.
algorithmic idea or pattern that emerges may often reflect unconventional timing that isn't suited for further production. This is where Ableton Live comes in, and why I consider using Vortex with Ableton Live as the perfect match. Timing discrepancies as well as rhythmic discrepancies can be resolved instantly. By assigning Vortex as a VST instrument in Ableton Live, you now have all of Ableton Live's features at your disposal. You can record different variations of each loop, use Ableton Live's effects, and more importantly use Ableton Live's warp markers to create new grooves from existing discoveries created in Vortex. Once your clips from Vortex are warped, they can be used in live sets or within any other project with different tempos and rhythmic grooves. Any clip that is warped will also match any of the snapshots in Vortex as well. This serves as a great starting point to combine existing ideas with new ideas. As you can see, the loop that is warped also is in sync with the Vortex snapshots. This loop recorded from Vortex is now warped. When we add the grain delay from Ableton Live, it makes even a further radical departure from the original loop. The final result of using Ableton Live and Vortex together leads up to a complete song arranged and created in Ableton Live while using Vortex. I'm also doing some sound design for a synthesizer company in Denmark that produces the Gotham and De Moon synth. Using Vortex, Ableton Live, and the Gotham and De Moon synth will greatly influence the outcome of my presets for this synthesizer because it allows me to see how the sounds can be used in different environments. The Gotham and De Moon is good for a variety of different sounds, so I created a sound while using the synthesizer and loaded it into Vortex to see what the results would be. This is a great point to end this video on. Please try loading your own samples into Vortex. This is where you will shape and discover the ideas that pertain to the specific type of music that you are trying to make. Without using your own samples in this ensemble, you're really not using it to its full potential at all. As time goes by, it may be even best to discard the original map in favor of your own samples altogether. So I hope this video was of some value to you. It is only a suggestion, an indication of what my workflow consists of while using Vortex, additional programs, hardware, and even my own Waldorf Wave sample CD. 
So please support the efforts of the guys from Twisted Tools for taking the time out to create this ensemble. If you have purchased this, please do not share it with anyone or distribute it over the internet with anyone that has not bought it. This project brings together some very talented people within the reactor community together, so please respect those concerns.